Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at the best ways to remove vocals from tracks so you can resample them. Now technically, um, this is called resampling, um, but there are many other ways that you could uh, you could call this. Um, call it vocal isolation. You could call it vocal extraction. You could call it noise removal, moving the background noise. Or you could use my preferred term, which is sample robbery. Shh. So this video series is going to be looking at loads of different ways and, and loads of different methods that you can do to achieve the same result and hopefully we can find out which one is the best so let's get started okay so what you have here is a really short fl project um, where i've basically taken some vocals and i've taken um, a music track and i'm going to have created a basically a brand new track and i'm then going to go away and export it well extract the vocals that i have put into this track and see if i can get them to fit in a different track so let's have a real quick listen to uh, to this track that I've made just as a demo. What happens when life breaks down? Isn't it true? Alas, it is much worse. A person may end up believing in anything. What love is this? It is God's love and no other love can be defined until that love has properly been understood. Think of what it is when God himself puts his arms around you and says, welcome home. Now, the whole point here is to basically be able to extract these vocals when I render this, this track entirely. Um, both of these are completely royalty free. Uh, this track is um, Div Kid Icelandic Arpeggios, um, and that comes from YouTube's own free music library. Um, I've got another track as well uh, that I'll be using once we've put it, we've extracted the vocals. I'll be putting them against a different track to see if I can get it to fit and sound good. The second track is Voices by Patrick Patrikos. It's quite literally the greatest artist name I've ever heard, if I'm quite, being quite honest with you. Just props to Patrick. Um, so we'll uh, the first one we will be using, the first method we'll be using to extract this vocal will be... Audacity from audacityteam.org. This is a 100% free piece of software. I will share a link um, below as to where you can download this. Uh, just quickly, this video is not endorsed or paid for or anything. So this is any opinions are entirely my own. So uh, what we're basically trying to do is we're gonna try and remove all this background noise and get a clean sample so we can use it again for an in, another, in another track. In order to do that, first of all, I'm going to highlight some of the noise I want to reduce. I'm just going to highlight some of the music in the background, which sounds like this. So to do that, I'm going to just highlight a section here with no, no vocals, because obviously I don't want to, to reduce the vocals. And click Effect, and I'll go to Noise Reduction, and then I'm going to click Get Noise Profile. Now basically, that will analyze this noise profile. Um, I'm now going to select the whole sample and go back to effect and goes to noise reduction. Um, I've already got my profile, so now I can just run the noise reduction. These are the default settings. I'm just going to click OK to see what that sounds like. So this is kind of it with a, with a 20 decibel reduction. What love is this? It is God's love and no other love can be defined. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Um, obviously, I would definitely recommend tweaking with the uh, with the settings. There's, you know, you've got your noise reduction, your sensitivity, and your frequencies moving band. So 100%. You know, I wouldn't just do one and move on to the next step. I would definitely fit, uh, fiddle with these until you find, you know, the kind of correct balance you're looking for. For the sake of making this a really quick video, I'm going to move on because that sounds okay for a, for a first start. So I'm going to select the whole uh, sample again. I'm going to go back to effects and I'm going to go down a little bit more to vocal reduction and isolation. I'm going to use this isolate vocal setting here. I'm just going to down this to about 10 to start off with because of, um, and what this should do. This should remove everything but the vocals. But whereas before, the reason I did I did the noise reduction before is because I wanted to reduce everything outside the vocals first. Now I'm just going to try and take the vocals out. There's less background noise, so it should be easier. It should work better. So let's give this a hit. Okay, and now I'm going to, just for the sake of loudness, I'm going to normalize this. 
um, what we've got left. So this kind of, you can see your vocal here and it's a lot lower sounds going on where the uh, where the background noise was. So let's have a listen, see, see if it sounds any good. What happens when life breaks down? Isn't it true? Alas, it is much worse. A person may end up believing in anything. What love is this? It is God's love and no other love can be defined. Now it hasn't completely removed the background noise, but it has removed it to a level that I think I can work with because obviously I'm going to put this back. I might, might chop it up. I'm going to put EQ you can, from here. You can put EQ compression, uh, other noise removal um, plugins in in your door, um, and try and get this to fit in with the other on top of the other bit of music without kind of hearing any key clashes or any nasty elements. So I'm going to go ahead and export this as a WAV. So export uh, vocal extraction one. This is post. This is after. Okay, and then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go to vocal pre, clone that, and I'm going to open up vocal post. I'm going to stick that in here. Now I'm going to. Do what happens when life breaks down? Thank you for that. Uh, now I'm going to do these two channels. So you've got my new uh, vocal one. I'm going to put that in this track here. And this is the new bit of music that I obviously want. I don't want it to be any kind of clashing or any kind of issues with the other stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop out, just in case there are any artifacts left over, I'm just going to chop these out. So I'm just going to really really quickly without any real kind of precision just do some cuts okay so that's all of the uh, additional spaces removed just gonna redo this for the sake of continuity so let's have a quick listen uh see uh how it sounds just without any kind of without any additional processing What happens when life breaks down? Isn't it true? Alas, it is much worse. A person may end up believing in anything. What love is this? It is God's love and no other love can be defined until that love has properly been understood. Think of what it is when God himself puts his arms around you and says, welcome home. Okay, so give me a minute. Just gonna put a little bit more processing on that vocal, see if I can make it sound any better. One second. Okay, and I am finished. Let's see quickly what I have come up with. What happens when life breaks down? Isn't it true? Alas, it is much worse. A person may end up believing in anything. What love is this? It is God's love and no other love can be defined until that love has properly been understood. Think of what it is when God himself puts his arms around you and says, welcome home. Well, I don't know about you, but I couldn't really hear any of the original background from the original track that I made in there at all. So I am very happy with that. Hope you found this video useful. Um, I hope this inspires you to get out there watching movies, TV shows. It doesn't matter what you sample. At the end of the day, world is your oyster. Um, so get out there, get sampling, get recording, get making some tracks. So have fun, guys. I'll be back in a week or so with another platform or another way, method to do this. 
I think next I'm looking at um, I'll be looking at Edison, which comes with a uh, native with FL. So all you FL users will be able to uh, to relate to that one if you don't fancy or just don't get on with uh, with Audacity. So that'll be out in a couple of weeks. So until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.